Hey there, good morning everybody. This is Alec. I coming to you from Huntington Harbor on July 12th. Uh, just launched out of Sea Bridge. I'm going to be heading. It's an incoming tide to about 8.40. I'm here kind of at a bad time because it is... Oh, jeez. It is about 8.30 and um, it was uh, it's slack right now. So I just got hit big time um, and I missed the bike because I was doing my intro. Happens. Anyways, so uh, we're here hanging out. It's an incoming tide to about 8.40. I've got about another 15 minutes before it's slack. I'm going to be heading into the harbor um, a little bit more, and then it's going to go out going from then. It should be pretty good fishing until about lunchtime. So with any luck, we're going to get on some fish, hopefully. Fishing. Oh, my God. I just missed that giant bite. This this thing just pulled my entire... Every, it seems like every time I'm recording like a bench or something, <laughs> I'll get a massive bite. So... Um, we're out there fishing a watermelon red on this side and a um, Ned rig on that one. So we'll see what we get. See you later. Something's on. This guy pulled it. There we go. Tagged it a little bit. Tagged it a little bit. Had some hesitation. Dang, dude. Then at the end, he decided he wanted it. Oh, man. I'm having some pretty good luck right here, just in the middle. Not by the structure at all. Jeez. There we go. Not too bad. Eating some soft stuff, but uh, he wanted a Ned. Using the uh, mud minnow today on a Ned. I took down my entire rod holder set up. We're on it. Again on the Ned. These guys like that slow moving Ned. He ain't even that big. He's not even that big. Well, hooked him twice. Look at that. Two different parts of the lip there. There we go. Another medium size, a small size spotty. But, uh, man, he hit that thing. He hit it hard. Yeah, absolutely. My entire rod holder was like, blank. <laughs> Uh, audio alert. Just thought I'll hook this guy. I think I got him in the eye. But, um, he's angry, of course. So, there he goes. Out. He, uh, he bit at it. I weighed a little bit, kind of hang on to it, and then I just reeled into him because it didn't feel like a regular bite. It kind of felt like a of a slow drag if you will and then I reeled into it instead of uh, tugging on it and I looked like a foul hooked him in the eye or so oh he got me too or at least I think I got myself but anyway right, so let me show you kind of what's going on right now I'm having really good luck here in the cross section between like I just remember I launched like well remember but I said I launched at the Seabridge Park that was about 45 minutes ago um, I haven't moved very much because this spot right here, for whatever reason right now, it's on fire. Um, just caught my, I think, fifth? Fifth fish? And all I'm doing really is I'm just hanging out here in the open water, in the middle. Um, I've got a hookup kind of bait on one, a tube on one, and then I'm dragging a net on the other. And I'm, I'm really just kind of letting the net sit. And as I'm moving around, that net is, is moving also. So I'm just kind of not even circling the buoy. I'm just kind of hanging out here, and all I'm doing with the uh, um, the hookup or tube bait is I'm just kind of doing a little twitch, boom. And when the line goes slack, I just reel into it, and then just kind of hang out here for a second, and then boom, <laughs> and just kind of lifting it off the ground. So I imagine it's just coming off the ground just a little bit, looking like a like a dead fish, just kind of hovering over the bottom end. And for whatever reason, right now, and it's supposed to be slack tied at right now at about 8:40. I think it's. 
It's already 9.20. Actually, I've been here for more than that. I've been here for like an hour. Um, and uh, it's slack tide. And the tide is going to start picking up pretty soon. And I'm just chucking it out there, just like that. And I'm just fanning all this area here. And it seems to be doing pretty well. I'm having a good time here. I've just been an hour and I haven't even gone anywhere. So, um, just like that. Just bloop. And with the Ned, if you want to talk about the Ned, all I'm doing with the Ned is, like, like I said, normally I'm just dragging it. This is kind of my dead stick. But really, I'm just slowly pulling it back. What am I am trying to use it? Just slowly reeling it back, right? And every once in a while, I'll give it a little bit of action. Just kind of bump up, just, just a little bit of, of uh, action, just to kind of attract anything that's out there. I won't move it like the, the hookup where I'll just pull up on it, but I'll just kind of give it a little bit of a shake, just to kind of make the little tail, the little phalanges on the on the the net actually get up. Let me show you this thing. It's beating the hell. It's had a lot of activity, so it's a darker bait right now because it is overcast and it's the mud minnow like I was talking about before. Uh, pretty much all I'm using, but man, that Ned. That weight is all chewed up, and all kinds of trashed. Just getting it out there like this. Again, I'm fanning around with both different types, switching back and forth, and slowly just pulling it back in. I had a viewer ask me to kind of show what techniques I'm using. I won't necessarily say that I'm using the right technique or if I'm great at this, but <laughs> this is what's working for me right now, right today. I'm having a great time here. Um, and like I said, I haven't even moved, so. Hopefully that helps. I knew he was a hit by that structure. This is a bigger one. I tried to tie me up around the, uh, around the pylon over there. He hit it right there, boom. I won't say he hit on the drop, but pretty damn close. I got him on the, uh, Blue hook up this time. Not too bad. And chunky. Feel the stomach. Trying for live. Pulled him right from that little more corner right there. Just trying to pull him right there. Okay, so I just caught some very unusual fish, and it hit it on the drop. And I don't know what this is. It's got really long teeth, man. Is this like a baby barracuda or something? Jesus. What the heck is this? Look at the teeth on this thing. It smells. What is that? Is that a baby barracuda? My goodness. I do not want to get bit by those teeth, though, I can tell you that. It's slimy. It smells, dude. I can totally smell from here. I will let you go if you just give me a second, man. Oh, it keeps trying to bite me. Start getting creative with this guy before he hurts himself. There we go. I don't know what this is. Tube over here. This is more squishy, so you know what the next video is going to entail. I'll be trying to fix that, patch it up. Um, probably caught a leak somewhere, or I don't know what happened there. But decided to take another um, spin around the buoy, and I caught that weird fish. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a barracuda. A long, long mouth, uh, and it stinks, man. It stinks all around my tray here. I can smell it, like still tiny little scales, also. So I'm gonna assume it was some kind of. I'm gonna assume it was a barracuda because the way it looked, but just baby one. Anyways, I'm headed in. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff to do, and I don't want to risk it with the. Um, 
with the uh, uh, float tube here. Met a lot of really cool people um, sporting some awesome kayaks here today. Uh, 10 foot, cost about two grand I guess with that, that Mirage motor or that Mirage kick, uh, kicking fins. It's pretty cool. I really dig on those things, but uh, my car right now is just not gonna let me have that. But anyway, it was a really good day. I ended up with, jeez, uh, I was only on her for like three hours or so. I ended up with, uh, I think, five, six, six bodies, sand bass, five bodies of sand bass, and that weird cuda looking thing. Um, but again, I've only been on here for a couple hours, so had a blast. This little area here, the bite's on. Even when I was swimming through right now, it was still getting bit. Um, that's a blue hookup bait right now. Um, Chovy was on for, I think, one of the fish, but for the most part, it was that watermelon red and a blue hookup. On this side, you guys saw me catch that Ned, or catch a country fish on the Ned rig, and that's a um, that mud minnow, mud minnow color. Thanks all. Take care. Hope you have a great day out there. It's, again, today is Friday, July 12th. Please like, comment if you haven't yet done so yet. Subscribe and um, shout out to all you guys who are meeting up with me in different places and randomly kind of showing up in Alameda Bay, Huntington Harbor, saying hello. Um, yesterday, um, Lawson, I was over at um, Pier Point Landing. I did take another uh, uh, trip out on a half day. Um, I ended up catching a bunch of shorts. The day wasn't very good, and I didn't think that filming it was very good because there was so many waves and so much movement that I thought it was just not going to come out. The videos weren't going to come out right. Even when we were fishing, we were kind of going up and down. <coughs> um, and I caught myself four times. I caught doubles scoping on a double dropper loop, and they were really tiny little guys. So I still have to go through the same pain in the butt to go and unhook them, kick them over the side. Um, but I wasn't able to keep a whole lot. I think I kept like in the end, I think three sculpin and they gave me a couple of bass um, to take home. Uh, just the bite was just kind of not great. So anyways, that's it for now. Talk to you later. See ya. Till next time.